Hey guys, welcome again to your fifth tutorial in Backbone.js. In this tutorial, I'm just going to expand a little bit on what the model includes in Backbone. Because I could spend many tutorials teaching you everything there is to know about the Backbone model, but I think it's best if I teach you how to go about learning new things. So. If you go to the main website of Backbone.js, which is backbonejs.org, you will see on the left panel something like this, except smaller because I made mine bigger. But anyway, you will see the model down here with all of its tags and functions and whatever you will need. Um, it's not that big, but it's extremely, extremely useful if you use it with your own creativity. For example, we have... I don't know. We have the get right here, which I taught you about. The set. We have the constructor or initialize, which is what I taught you about as well. Um, we have the attributes, which is a property of the model that is included with Backbone. And what it does is that it gives you a hash containing the model state. Um, so yeah, there's also this other tag or function that if you use it, it'll return every attribute inside the model as a JSON object. We have a validate function, which is used to validate data within your object, within your model. We also have fetch, which fe fetches data from your database, which is extremely useful. We have a save, which saves data to your database. We have a clear, which clears all attributes from your, from your model. We have, I don't know. We, as you can see, we have a lot of things here, here that we can that we can work on. I extremely recommend, or if, if that's how you say it, I really recommend that recommend that you read through most of them. You get familiar with them, and you learn to use them. They will make they will be your best friends once you learn to use them. So um, this ends the tutorial. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to send me an email or leave a message in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Have fun.